you been a Muslim? Uh, five months. Five months? Yeah, yeah. Abu Bakr Sadiq, he called people to Islam. With la ilaha illallah. Just la ilaha illallah. That's all he had. So uh, I can do the same, inshallah. There is no God but Allah. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was his messenger. How feeling now? I mean, being a Muslim for five months. And uh, it's the best thing I've ever done, I'm being honest, the best thing, honestly. Uh, what attracted you to the Muslim faith? Uh, it was the science. Science was uh, what, what made me really revert to Islam because, uh, in my opinion, God is unfathomable, therefore, He has to give me something unfathomable to, to believe in it. When I read about the verses in the Quran in the production of the womb, I knew then it was the truth because 1400 years ago he knew stuff that we only know because we have the microscopes. And uh, for him to know that, only the Creator would know that. So therefore, I knew it's the truth. It should be that in the And uh, if anyone's thinking of Islam, accept it, man, because there's something changes in your heart, your life becomes better for you. It really does. Uh, the arrival of faith, as it all be, man. Can't be, man. Nothing sweeter in this world. Did it go down with your family? Uh, it went okay. They said uh, that I've been brainwashed. I said yes. My brain is clean now. It's been washed. So, <laughs> yes, I, I was brainwashed. Uh, I've been uh, the best, the best clean. Yeah, that's that's what it was. Your brother here, alhamdulillah, he accepts Islam as well. Okay, your brother. Uh, yeah, yeah, alhamdulillah. He's, uh, What's your name? Isa. Isa. Jesus. Yeah, so alhamdulillah with... He converted to, uh, I mean, along with you about five months ago. Yeah, yeah, he, he came uh, a little while ago, uh, about two months now, alhamdulillah, he accepted Islam. Uh, trying to teach him the deen and that's, you know, he's, he's young, he's enthusiastic. So, uh, I'll guide who he will. That's... So was he pushed or did he jump? No. In fact, yeah, when I arrived, he took the mic out of me for being a Muslim. And I said to him, because there's two angels writing your deeds down. He said, what? And I told him about the gin, he said I want to be a Muslim. Yes. How do you feel about being a Muslim? No. Uh, I feel really good. What, what first attracted to a Muslim faith? Uh, I don't know. Andrew, really. Andrew, yeah. Right. How do you feel about like being a Muslim for, like, for two months? Uh, not too bad, actually. Good. Feeling good? I like your dress. Nice Moroccan dress. He asked many questions, man. He got a lot of questions. I think that's it. I'll try and answer the best I can, but inshallah, I'll give you knowledge, rub his in your mouth. That's what he needs as well. So make the wire, anyone. Uh, no, What's your name? Fadi. Fadi. Yes. How long have you been a Muslim? Three years. Three years? Yes. How did you find it? Uh, through Malcolm X and uh, the internet. The internet? Yeah. yeah. So what first attracted you to the Muslim faith? Uh, well, basically it was Malcolm X. I really saw the biography and uh, he was such a fascinating person. So I just wanted to know what Islam was about. Are you American? No, no, I'm Finnish. It sounds like You're Finnish? I'm Finnish, yeah, I'm Finland. Okay. Time. So I wasn't like searching for a religion or anything, but... Once I just started uh, exactly. searching for, oh, not searching, but uh, just uh, get, getting knowledge about Islam, and uh, it's my, my mind just started to rise. And uh, I studied Islam for about six months, and uh, then I was uh, certain enough that Islam was the truth, so I, I converted. But well, basically, uh, the thing that got me to believe was uh, the scientific miracles of the Quran. Uh, I can't really name that many of them, but so many, yes. yeah, there are there are many. And, uh, uh, makes the most like uh, appealing thing about Islam is probably like the, the sense of brotherhood. Brotherhood, yeah, the community, sense of yeah, community. It doesn't matter what color you are, what age you are, if you're Muslim, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're a brother. Yeah. Yeah. Do you live in Finland? Yeah, I live in Finland. Yeah. How, how finished yet? Yeah. How you you you're not finished yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. But how do you find the Muslim faith living in Finland as a Finnish man? Uh, it's pretty hard. A lot of fitness around. Uh, a lot more than here in the UK, I must say. Okay. Thanks very much. No problem. Thank you. No worries.
This honey is not made by bees. Yeah? Who made this honey? Allah made this honey, and He says it's delicious. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. What do you want? It's very simple, man. Allah yeah, Akbar. I want paradise, inshallah. Yeah. Al Firdaus. Bakr. There's two narrations. Or Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu. He came in and he saw the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam lying on the floor. And the Prophet got up and he had markings all down his face, all down his body. From the floor he lived, he, he, he slept on a rope carpet. And he got up and said, you, I have seen kings living on, sleeping on beds of gold and a, a feather beds. And you are the Prophet of Allah, meaning you're sleeping on a rope bed. He says, yes, they do. But our reward is in the next life. Now compare that tea break, this life, eight years to eternity. It's a photograph. We're not going to remember this after what? A L A K I. You will get it. You will get it. And it's, it's very long, but it's worth it, man. You sit there, you listen. You just get some dates, milk, sit there, chill, listen to it. Come to last three years, you're fine. Yes. Well, I just did, unfortunately. I said, let me finish, please, then you can argue with me, yeah? But I said, in my opinion, God is uncomprehendable. The concept of an all-creating being that is un uh, not boxed in, is no size, is eternal from the beginning to the end. There was no beginning, there was no end. He is the beginning, he is the end. It has to be, that's uncomprehendable, in my opinion, right? So in order for me to believe in him, he has to give me something uncomprehendable. Because that conforms with my opinion of God, uncomprehendable. When I read in the Quran about the production in the womb, I could not comprehend it. Do you know why? Because in order for us to know of sperm and to know of the womb and to know of the egg inside the womb and what happens once yeah. they join together, we have to get a microscope or some sort of scanner to have a look, don't we? Yeah. That, the only reason we know today is because we've looked in the microscope, we've looked with the scanners, correct? In the Quran, 1400 years ago, 1000 years before, the uh, microscope was invented. It is written in the Quran and I have oh, sorry. However, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the only person in history to go against that idea. And he didn't have any proof to prove it. What happened to the uh, microbe? What happened to the flea? You know what I'm saying? And we can create another idea of that. Exactly. Now let me get on to this. Because part of the start, we also still don't know why that's advice in the first place. أرجع لبيع وبرت سلام وقف ناطة حضر نولاد وطرف الخمس وخط راسة وخمس سنين عشم الصوف حياتي ناجح سلامي سلامي اللي مرضي والدي اللي باقي فات زمان شباب ستي اللي ماضي صار لي الفجر وحنا راقدين اللي زاد فات الدنيا والفلوس واجدي سلامي سلامي اللي رزق حياتي اللي رزق يعطاها المال ودرب قلادي اللي كي زكي وخف راس ما لش حال اللي كي حسب تروش عاملهم في البال سلامي سلامي اللي في الغرب Just la ilaha illallah, that's all he had, so uh, I can do the same inshallah. There is no God but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. There is no God but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger.